you sure I can't stay for one more day, Peso? Sorry, Pinto, but we promised Mum you'd be back home in time for the first day of school. Don't worry, we'll see you next time. Alrighty, your Octo Watch is all fixed and ready to go, Peso. <laughs> and clean. <laughs> Thanks, Junip. So cool! What's that button do? That's for the camera. What about this one? <laughs> These things happen. I hope I can earn an Octo Watch one day. I'll do whatever it takes. What does it take? It takes hard work. Uh huh. And focus. Oh. Can I drive this cup home? I think we'll be safer with a less distracted driver, Pinto. <gasps> an Octo Alert! Maria! <laughs> Wellington, report, please. Aye, Captain. I was investigating the tide pools around this island when all of a sudden, baby sea turtles started hatching out of their eggs under the sand. <laughs> They're trying to get to the water. But they need help. And this little one scraped his flipper on a rock. <laughs> Sounds like they need a medic. Then you can't take me home yet, Peso. I can take you home, Pinto. <laughs> Thanks, Dashy. Say hi to Mum for me. Safe trip home, Pinto. All right, Shellington. Peso and I are on our way. Let's do this. Pinto, how'd you like to make a few stops on our way home? Yes! Pinto, meet my sister Kashi. Kashi, meet Peso's brother. I was visiting him and he was about to take me home, but then there was an Octonauts emergency? I know, I saw it on my Octo Watch. Wow, how did you get an Octo Watch? I'm a junior Octo Agent. I've helped out with a few missions. Junior Octo Agent? I can do that. What's our mission? We need to fill a watering hole for some thirsty kangaroos. Think you can be in charge of the hose? You can count on me, Dashi. We're almost there. Ready, Tracker? Yes, ma'am. I studied my Octo Manual all month and all last night, plus during breakfast. The only thing I don't understand is why a Polar Scout like me needs to learn about the desert. To be an Octo Agent, you need to be prepared for anything. You're used to working in the freezing cold of the Arctic, but... Can you take the heat? Where the swirling sand chokes the breath out of you. The blazing hot sun dries you up like a year-old raisin. And every strange beast that lives there is after just one thing. Sunscreen? Nope. Water. That's the one thing nobody can live without in the desert. Not even a pirate. Now for your test. What is the test exactly? You and Quasi must find water in the desert by the time the sun sets. I'll drop you off here. And I'll be able to track you through your Octo watches. Just in case something goes wrong. Don't worry, an Octo agent is always prepared. That's the spirit. <laughs> so long, Dashy. Matey, what are you doing? Oh, checking the map section to find the nearest water hole? <laughs> Hand it over. Of course. I'll just use the map on my Octo watch. Listen, an Octo agent doesn't need books or fancy doodads to find water. All he needs is his eyes and his ears and... Uh... Elephants! Huh? Elephants can smell where water is with their trunks. Just like it says in the creature section of the desert chapter in the manual. Page 43, right? Uh, right. Like I was saying, follow those elephants. Quasi, and this is Tracker. Hi. My name's Goldie, 
I just left my burrow for the first time and I've been swimming through the sand all night. Swimming? Yep. That's what we golden moles do when we're looking for termites. Those are the bugs we like to eat. Well, not looking so much as listening. You see, I can't see. Right. I read about golden moles on page 51. You can't see, but you have extra special hearing. Especially when you put your head in the sand. Wait a minute. Do I hear... Termites! I hear some! Maybe. Good to go. Most crabs live in the ocean, but the desert crab lives here. It lives in tunnels under the ground and only comes out at night when it's cool. But those tunnels could get flooded with water when the rain comes. We'd better find this crab and make sure it's safe. Let's look for holes in the ground. Maybe we can find the entrance to one of the crab's tunnels. I'm here! Hello? Anybody home? Who wants to know? <gasps> Why are you poking around my home? We were looking for you, actually, to make sure you're safe. Huh? been hoping for rain. I need a puddle of water for my babies. Babies? Here they are. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Tiny crablets. I have to carry them around like this until I find a little puddle of water. They have to be born in water, but after they grow up, they can live in the sand like me. Water. My home is going to flood. Don't worry, I've got you. It's not just raining, it's flooding. You better get to higher ground right away. Come on, into the terraca. It's really coming down now. I can hardly see. Oh, no! Hold on! Whoa! It's some river! It's one of the things that happens in a flash flood. And one of the reasons they can be so dangerous. Water's rising all over! <gasps> Wait! Aren't you going the wrong way? It'll soon be the right way, I promise. Okay, it's ready. Oh, maybe I should just stay here. Don't give up, Vim. Tweak will figure something out. Vroom. Hmm. Wow, walk when you can roll. With this wheel from my gut, Bam, you won't need to walk on your front leg. How's that feel? Weird. Maybe I should just wait until my leg feels better. Uh, not sure that's such a good idea. Maybe it's another weasant. No, not a weasant. It's definitely a bear, and he looks hungry. Hey, who's been eating all my roots and berries? Oh no, I am doomed. Don't worry, Vim. I'll be right here with you. Vroom. Maybe I'll be okay, as long as the bear doesn't see us. But even from this distance, he might smell us. <laughs> oh, we've got to get out of here. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> okay, I'll try. Huh. Oh, I, I think I'm getting the hang of this. That's good, because the hungry-looking bear spotted us. A weasel. Yum. <laughs> Forget roots and berries, you look much tastier! Ah! <laughs> oh dear! To the meadow! <laughs> Hang on, Periwinkle! Uh, hey! Snacks! Come back! <laughs> That's it, Ben! You're doing it! Oh, I like 
fast food, but not that fast. Oh. I can't see them. They're on their way. And fast. Change of plan, Peso. We need to lift off right away. <gasps> Blappity flippers. Is that a bear? <laughs> Come on, Vim. You can do it. You want me to go in bed? Don't worry, Vim. I'm here with you. <clears throat> Oh, my snack is flying away. All right, back to my berries. Come out, come out, wherever you are. The current. Huh? Ha ha! Ah! Ah! to save us. All right. Now, how do I get back out? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You can't dodge me forever. That's right. And there's no one here to help us. Oh, maybe there is. What was that? Alcapod responding to call. The black and whites. Oh, they don't usually patrol this reef. I can't let them nab me. I better beat it. Good thinking, Shellington. The only thing that can scare a big fish is an even bigger fish. Well, yes, but technically orcas are dolphins, which are mammals. There's a shark, sir. Should we nab him? Forget it. It's Coral Reef. We'll never find him in there. The current that carried me ashore was strong. But then I realized, if those baby eels got caught in it too, they had to be somewhere close by. Oh, which way you were stepping? You said that? I did. <gasps> baby eels! You're so transparent that you're practically invisible. No wonder no one saw you. Koshi, are you all right? Yes, and I've found the missing eels. When we're little, being transparent helps protect us from predators. Amazing! Your family has been very worried. We, we want to go home. home! I think we can help with that. You found them. Oh, how can we ever thank you? Just doing our jobs. Uh, how about a family picture? Everyone say seaweed! Seaweed! And that's how the Mystery Sisters and Shellington closed the book on the mystery of the missing eel. I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Faithy. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.